Hey you, my little miracles, it's June 30th, 2022. My name is Reagan, formerly the Doom Wizard, still the Doom Wizard, and I'm glad you're back here to my channel, you little miracles. Hit subscribe if you haven't already. I'm gonna do a news roundup in a moment here, which will explain why no fairies are not coming to save us. Just letting you know, there is no future technology that's like super wonderful and it's gonna, you know, save us. In a moment, I'll get to some more specifics and details. Again, like and subscribe if you haven't already. This channel features coverage about impending ecological collapse, your future, and um, all life on Earth. I went to dinner last night with my girlfriend. It was splendid. We both had a drink. It was our second dinner date in like a month, which is not great, but we're doing our best. So she looks really hot, so I, I said, you look hotter than usual today. Thank you. Kiri knife action going there. No, it's the stuba. Yeah, I bet you wish you had any Kiri, though. Actually, the stuba's a better knife when you're working with this quantity. Eh, I don't know. Back. Insert the knife beneath the jaw. Bring it all the way around. There's going to be a good amount of blood. Uh, filming with even two children and a two-year-old pit bull around that's like a, literally a beast like a wild beast is a uh, is a bit more difficult a bit more difficult i find time when i can but we went out to dinner and we sat with another family next to us about four or five children uh a, a brand she was had a brand new child she had she, uh, she had a fayetteville police department shirt on it it was like a uh, like captain america star but with fayetteville police department ran over it yeah she had a newborn um a terrorist we could just call her a terrorist and her husband and Another officer came in, fully decked out in gear. I thought they were coming for me. Oh my gosh, my heart started raised a little bit, but it's cool, it's cool. Um, they were just talking with their family. And that was the moment, that was the moment to really sit and address with them. Hey, do you know, do you know the situation that we're in right now? But I didn't, you know, I, I'm just trying to enjoy a nice date with my girlfriend, you know, time and place for everything. But yes, those moments are few and far between to actually sit and have a legitimate conversation with nearly anybody. So today's first news article comes from Electric. I did see it on another website, but let's just start here. It's written by Jameson Dow. He's been writing on this website since like 2016. World's largest direct air carbon capture will reduce CO2 by 0.0001%. Basically the short story is when construction finishes, this is the largest direct air carbon air capture uh, in Iceland, run by Swiss startup Climateworks AG, it should finish in the next 18 and 24 months. It'll be named Mammoth, and it'll be re able to remove 36,000 tons of CO2, uh, which is, again, 0.0001% of the 36 billion tons per emitted per year by humanity. Uh, currently, they operate their Orca plant, which captures only 4,000 tons, which started last year. Um, again... My subscribers are correct in the notion that it takes an enormous amount of energy to run these uh, plants, and nor do we are we able to build them in scale in the in the time remaining. Uh, this is a great little segment from KCRA about this Oakland photographer who uses billboards to raise. An Oakland photographer is hoping um, to raise awareness about climate change do, and the housing crisis in California know, a through a series of billboards. Thomas Broning says he spent the past year and a half traveling through the state, taking pictures of areas impacted by drought, fire, and homelessness. He put the images on eight different billboards in Oakland and six in Oroville in a campaign he calls the end of the dream. I think California is in real trouble. You know, we have these droughts that, you know, that last for months and months and these fires that burn out of control, you know, millions of acres. And then we have in every single city uh, in California, we have these homeless encampments unimaginable uh, anywhere else in the, in the country. And the photographer spent his own money putting his images on those billboards. It's not cheap. Next month, he plans to put up more billboards in Los Angeles. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Uh, a new study here on Salon, or published on Salon, Elon Musk makes climate change worse. Uh, it, a new study confirms that space tourism is destroying the planet. Uh, yeah, you know, it's a rich and famous. We got, 
he's trying to build these rockets, but the fossil fuel impact and tourism is just absolutely awful in whatever regards. Uh, the world will need dozens of breakthrough climate technologies in the next decade here from the MIT Technology Review. Um, 35 innovators list are attacking the problem from all angles. So we are living in a pivotal decade of just straight up the head, the title line. By 2030, emissions have got to be cut in half, mostly like deployment of all of this green lies and emerging climate technologies must come to market this decade even if they don't uh so we need to get net zero by 2050 blah 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 ain't gonna happen folks ain't gonna happen uh next on the south china morning post climate change only 11 percent of listed firms globally on track to achieve key carbon emission goals 10 listed companies including seven chinese companies that have not published emissions data okay they either aren't going to publish or they're going to fudge the numbers. We know that, folks. Um, here from Bloomberg, the U.S. edition, European bat Europeans badly underestimate scientists' agreement on climate change. A survey of people in six countries found that they guessed the level of scientific consensus on climate change to be much lower than it actually is. So basically they asked, okay, 68% of people believe that scientists are correct when they say that man-made climate change is happening, when really the figure is really 100%. Like... And here it is a 68%. And all these European countries, you have just a little bit more than a half people that are like, yeah, I guess it's real, man. It's happening. Back to Idaho Capital Sun. For environmental group Sue Biden, this is going to be a short one, for failing to consider climate change and oil leasing. So these people on 119,000 acres of land in Wyoming went out for bid on gas and oil leasing. 10 groups sued the Department of Interior, Interior for not properly taking action and change into the account. Romantic partners, this is from the Science Daily, romantic partners can influence each other's beliefs and behaviors on climate change. So Yale's School of Environment found that, the short version is that, we want to see if there's a potential for couples to increase support for pro-climate policies and behaviors through more conversations about climate change. Ah, so focusing on the communicating aspect, because that's what uh, romantic couples do not do these days. Um, I talk way too much, so I, I'm never concerned that I didn't say enough. You know what I'm saying? Better to say it and have it heard than ever not say it. Fuck it, I'll write it down on, on a ledger, you know? This is the contract. I'm just kidding. There are many discrepancies. There are only, uh, but the results have revealed that many partners exhibited similar beliefs and behaviors around climate change. That's cool. There are also that were many discrepancies. There was only 38% 30 alignment between partners on their climate beliefs and only 31% alignment on climate behaviors. Mass communication is critical, but might not be the most effective way to shift public support. A partner knows their partner infinitely better than some unknown communicator. Exactly. If I would have talked to that Fayetteville Police Department family, last night at the hibachi at the table, you know, that their newborn was not going to have a future, they're not going to trust me, even if I show them the evidence, even if I show them the data. Shit, I'm so alarmed that the, their officer husband might just try to taser me on the spot. <laughs> okay, a partner, so we need to just communicate. Yeah, well, no one communicates in their relationships much anymore, right? You feel me? Okay, next, next, next link here. From Real Change News, uh, awareness once alone won't stop climate change, but what can? So he wrote this book, Climate Change is a Class War. It's like $27, and it's an exciting title, but, you know, he says it's the apocalypse that has already arrived. France recorded its earliest heat wave ev ever with 11 areas of the country breaking temperature records by June 17th. A new research shows the Arctic is warming at a dangerous rate. It's all spiraling out of control. A 20-year-old drought in the American Southwest, you know, 338 people died of heat exposure in Mariopol, Mari, Mariocopa County. And he says it's the same thing I said. If the planet continues to burn, future historians will no doubt find our society puzzling. We could, clearly understood the gravity of climate change, but did nothing. Exactly, dude. Exactly. It is capital and associated ideologies blocking the changes needed. What, so what he's, solutions he's offering, okay? First, expand the definition of the working class and include everyone who sells their labor, including service workers and knowledge workers, knowledge workers, what the fuck is he talking about? So as to ensure workers movement with the numbers required to actually achieve change. That doesn't even make sense. So he, let's throw that 
plan direction out. Second, get to work building solidarity among the workers. Do this by shaming workers for their consumption, but by offering a, a vision of a better, more secure society for everyone. No one fucking understands. They can't even get the future. They don't even understand what it what cl what climate change is going to bring. So finally, use the... And so you're saying, no, don't buy the next Corvette. Don't go on that trip to Hawaii. Use the threat of a complete shutdown of the means of production, which, and of course, can operate without labor. This can force systematic challenges, like a complete overhaul of the electrical grid and electrification of industrial and consumer equipment that uses internal combustion engines. Great, but how? Yeah, so then... His closing has no left to be desired. Okay, he just singles out existing labor and electrical power grid. Look, there's no way. It's a, it's, a, it's a failed case. Just shoot yourself in the stomach, okay? Next article from Grist. What's wrong with the economy, <clears throat> mate? <clears throat> what's wrong with the economy, mate? Get a strop a level and pack a nine. Uh, what's wrong with economy? Climate change, for one. A new book argues that corporate America is waking up to climate action. So it's hard to wrap your head around the toll that climate change has taken on the economy. Last year, floods, wildfires, and other weather-related disasters cost the United States an eye-popping $400 million per day on average. Home insurance or company uh, rates are skyrocketing, uh, and that rising seas and drought can knock out as much as 9% of the U U economy within 30 years. Where are they getting these numbers from? So the sky is trying to write on and an climate to climate nomics keith argues that dollars and cents reality is really forcing the kind of meaningful change uh, that decades of protests and warnings from scientists haven't been able to the shortage of greenwashing in the book so he's talking about money and like how we're gonna fucking fix everything with money this fucking gen xer stupid so he's saying yeah i agree um inflation grocery bills are going up Look what happened in Kansas. There are 2,000 cows that were found dead on the side of the road. And, he start, and then he says, people start to take action when they realize something is a pocketbook issue. So he's just appealing to the people who are sociopaths and only give a fuck about money. He says, look, I don't care if you care about polar bears or believe in science or drive a Prius or pickup truck. It's killing our economy and we gotta do something about it. And you're saying, and he says all the, the major big tech firms are switching to green energy. He's made, Biden's made it an issue, but he hasn't fucking done anything. He hasn't, oh, I think that's absolutely right. His climate, what do you think of Biden's hasn't passed? His climate agenda hasn't passed yet. It's, so that's why I said it shouldn't be seen as a political thing. Yeah, well, sorry, bud. Every fucking person I talk to when I bring this up, the first thing they say is, oh, I don't talk about political things. We are the stupid ass ape, okay? Climate Wire, E&E &E News, defining challenge. NATO names climate change as major threat. Ooh. For the first time, they're updating strategic plans to treat climate change as a major threat. Uh, documents published yesterday, leaders gathering in Madrid, NATO declares that 30 member alliances, <clears throat> which will soon include Finland and Sweden, aspire to become the leading international organization on climate security, including the need to cur uh, curb greenhouse gases. Rising temperatures will threaten global security, the alliance warned, blah, blah, blah. It's a defining challenge of our time. Uh, NATO wrote in its new plans that a crisis and threat multiplier can exacerbate conflict fragility and geopolitical competition. So yeah, it's a big hairy monster in the room and no one's approaching it. Look at these f fucking guys leading us into complete hell. Look at them. Just look at their faces. Remember their faces. All right. These were the fucking enemies in the end who sold us out for the great new reset. Shame. Go do some jumping jacks, a few burpees, and leave a comment below what you thought about this video, if you'd like to see more of it. And have a great weekend. I'll catch up with you soon. Peace.